Feige goes out of his way to not choose a version that is obviously a lot cooler. If you want any more proof that Kevin Feige is intentionally trying to destroy the Marvel Cinematic Universe, here it is as Scar concept art from She-Hulk adds to the story. Recently, She-Hulk showrunner Jessica Gao revealed in a post-finale interview that the look of Scar was all Kevin Feige in an interview that also saw Tatiana Maslany say F you to the fans. Scar son of Hulk from She-Hulk Scar's look is all Kevin Feige From the beginning, we often talked about if there would there be a cameo at the end or, in typical Marvel fashion, would we tease a new character at the very end. A big cameo would be completely dependent on who was available and who was willing to do it, and you can't really bank on that at the script stage, Gao said. We talked a lot about what character we could tease. Ultimately, it was Kevin who decided it should be Scar. His look is all Kevin feed. Gao also added, Kevin was very specific about with Scar, so I am sure there's some plan in the future, though I have no idea what that might be. We all knew that Daredevil had to come back because people love him and their chemistry is so great. I only wish that Patty Guggenheim as Madison had come back in the finale. As seen above, much like She-Hulk and what Feige did to Smart Hulk, and Thor, in Avengers, Endgame, Scar is a shadow of his former self which fits with Feige's approach to Phase 4 and beyond of replacing the Marvel characters with woke versions, versions that wipe out decades and decades of comics and fans. Kevin Feige could have went with a much better Scar. Now what really sucks is that it is learned Kevin Feige could have went with a much better comic book accurate version of Scar, but intentionally chose not to. Concept artist Constantine Sekaris revealed on Instagram a super awesome design he created because he is such a fan of the character. However, per above, Feige instead went with a goofy man bun version that is a complete joke. Hello all! Posting some more renders of a early Scar design done for Marvel vs Dev lead by Jackson Z. I am a huge fan on this character and wanted to start the exploration staying very true to the source material in the comics, said Sekaris. Sekaris continued, had a blast working on Scar such a cool character. Was lucky enough to have been part of this amazingly talented team of artists from Ryan Maynarding, Jana Shermer, Mushk Razui, Imogene Shays, was Bert, Jeff Simpson, Rodney Fuentebella. Also want to give a shout out to director Kat Coiro and costume designer Anne Foley. More to come. Humbly thank you smiley face. Scar, the light and funny version. Since we can guess Feige didn't like the better more serious version, concept art reveals a look closer to what Feige wanted to go with. Hello all. Posting some more early She-Hulk Scar designs done at Marvel vs Dev lead by Jackson Z. Again as mentioned before so honored and excited to have had the great opportunity to work on this character, said Sekaris. The tone of the show is light and funny so I wanted to stay in a palette that accommodated to that and with this specific design for Scar bringing an element of his father's Sakar armor design reflecting that he is from Sakar, said Sekaris. Sekaris added, I tied his long hair back to be able to show some of the Sakar tattoos that he would have similar to his dad when he was a gladiator. He's 17 to 18 years old cocky and tough, giving a shout out to some of the artists on board when I was on, Sekaris continued. Sekaris said, Wes Burt, Jeff Simpson, Jana Shermer, Rodney Fuentebella, Imogene Shays, Musk Risui, Ryan Maynarding, and also director Kat Coiro and costume designer Ann Foley. Congrats to all the amazing artists involved. Love the show, a lot more to come. Thank you to those who have posted a positive message. We are all fans of these characters, humbly thanks. Scar, the hilarious version. Sekaris also reveals he found She-Hulk hilarious. Hello all. Posting some early She-Hulk Scar designs for Marvel vs Dev lead by Jackson Z. So excited to have had the chance to work on this cool character. Love the show found it hilarious, he said. Great work to everyone who worked on it. Giving a shout out to some of the artists who was on when I came on board. Imogene Shays, Musk Razui, Jana Shermer, Jeff Simpson, Wes Burt, Ryan Maynarding, and Rodney Fuentebella, added Sekaris. Congrats to all the amazing artists who did stunning work. Please forgive me if I don't know everyone who worked on it. Shout out to director of She-Hulk Kat Coiro and also costume designer Anne Foley. More to come soon. Humbly thanks, added Sekaris.